so today we'll see operations in JavaScript. This is pretty much easy topic. So first operation which we'll see is called as arithmetic operators. And an arithmetic operator, first we have addition. And addition is done by a plus sign. Everyone knows this is very simple because since childhood we are doing addition using the plus sign. Then we will do subtraction. This is a minus sign. Then we have third multiplication. And this is denoted by a star. Generally, if you do in pen and paper, you use cross sign. But in computer, we do star sign. Then we have division. Division is denoted by a slash. But when you go in your school life, division is kind of, you know, dot, line, dot kind of thing. So I cannot type it here. Then fifth one is called as modulus. Modulus is denoted by percent sign. Generally, we haven't done this modulus in our school lifetime. But in programming language, any programming language, uh, this modulus is there. So if you have done any other programming language, you might know what modulus is. We will we'll see what it is in, in a bit. Then sixth operator is increment operator, which is denoted by plus plus. And seventh is decrement operator, which is denoted by minus minus. So these are the these are the arithmetic these are the operators in the arithmetic and we will see one by one all the seven and we'll see examples and see how it works. So I'll create one variable a equal to for example thirty three and I create another variable b equal to ten and I will also create third variable c equal to test. This is the string one. Though this is this will not be used in operate operations, arithmetic operations, but uh, let's create it for some extra purpose. Now what will happen when I do A plus B? So it will add both the numbers 33 and 10. It will add both the numbers. Now what will happen with minus it will subtract 33 minus 10. It will give the 23. OK, next one is multiplication. I will do A multiply by B. So it will multiply 33 into 10 as 330. When I do a divided by B, it will give me it will give me uh, 33 divided by 10 is 3.3. .3. Okay, let's see what we have next. We are done with the division. Let's go to the modulus. So modulus is something new for most of the people. Otherwise, all of us are very straightforward. Okay, so let's do the modulus now. So I will do A percent B and the answer is coming as 3. So how the 3 came here? So this modulus means I will divide 33 upon 10 and whatever is the, whatever is the remainder, it, it, is, uh, it is the modulus. So if I do 33 divided by 10, OK, so it comes as, uh, let's say, OK, let's do the 33 upon 10. Let me open the drawing one. OK, so this is Firefox. So 
So I have 33. Oh man, it's coming, going. Okay, I have 33 divided by 10. So it goes three times, 30. Uh, let's write down here, this is 33. How we do in calculation. So it goes three times, and three times is 30. And the remainder which we get is three. So this is how we do division in the school. So if I divide 33 upon 10, it goes three times. And what is the remainder coming? Three. So the answer in the modulus will be 3. So we are getting 3 here. So let's try to do some more example. So if I divide 4, divide by 2, for example. OK, so it goes 2 times, and I write 4. Answer is 0. So when I do 4 modulus 2, if I do 4 modulus 2, so answer will come 0 because remainder is 0 in this case. Remainder is 0. Let me delete this. OK, let's do some more example. So let's do 5 divided by 2. So 2 to the, it goes 4, and remainder is coming 1. OK, so what, what happened if I do 5? percent 2, answer is coming 1. So modulus is kind of remainder which we get here. This is the remainder. So that is what we do with the modulus. So let's try, write down here in the modulus, we write down outputs the remainder of an integer division. This is what we do in modulus. Okay, let's do the increment one. So if I have var x equal to 1, and if I do x plus plus, then the value of x will become 2 now. Right? Because initially it was 1. x plus plus means we are adding one number to the previous number, and the final output is 2. I can do again x plus plus. And then when I see the value of x, it is 3. Similarly, I can create y equal to 100. And I can use minus minus. When I do y minus minus, then if I check the value of y, it is coming as 99. I can do y minus minus again. Then if I check the value of y is 99. I can also do minus minus y, then the value of y will be 97 because it was 98 previously, I did minus minus y. I can do plus plus x also, and the value of x will be 4 because initially it was 3, and then I added one number, that is the, uh, that is the plus plus sign, one second. Okay, so we have done increment, decrement. It, Adds one number, it decreases one number. So many times we we use this whenever we want to increment one number. For example, I have a website. I want to see uh, who visited my website. So every time someone visits, I want to increase my uh, view visit. View visit. I want to increase one by one. So anytime when someone uh, visit my website, I will add one like this plus plus. Then again he will come, I will use plus plus. So this is the usage of uh, this increment. Okay, so this is all about the arithmetic operators. Let's move to uh, another operator. And that is called as, so before I move further, any questions on arithmetic operators? Is it clear or any questions? OK, it is clear. OK, so let's go to the another kind of operators. And that is called as comparison operators. So 
what are the comparison operators? One of the comparison operator is equal equal sign and nowadays in JavaScript we have uh, addition of equal equal operator and that is called the equal 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 operator. So it is called equal operator. Second thing is not equal operator and in JavaScript and few programming languages we have not equal equal operator. Okay, and third is yeah, data type comparison. And third is the greater than sign. Fourth is the less than sign. Fifth is the greater than equal sign. Sixth is the less than equal sign. So we have so many uh, six operators in comparison operators in JavaScript. Now let's do all and see how it works. So for example, I will take here var a equal to 10 and var b equal to 20. And I will take var c equal to, I will take maybe 20 in the string. So all these are number. And I will take, okay, var c, I will take 10 as a string. And I'll take var d as a string of 20. Okay, now let's do the comparison. Okay, so just remember var 10, b20, c is 10 but in a string, d is 20 but in the string. Just remember that. Okay, first I will check a equal to equal to b, if both are equal or not. Since a is 10, b is 20, so they are not equal. How about a equal equal c? Since a is 10 and c is also 10, but a is numeric number, and C is a string, but then also it is giving true because JavaScript forcefully convert the C20 in a, as a numeric or as a number and then compares it. So this is the JavaScript forceful comparison. So it checks whether both are 10 or not, irrespective of one is integer or one is a string, that does not matter. So it checks like this one. But what will happen if I say A3 equal to C? When I say 3 equal to sign, though both are 10, but since one is a string and one is integer, numeric, therefore it, it is going false. Because when I put 3 equal to sign, it also checks the data type. And what is the data type of A? It is number. What is the data type of C? It is a string. So it checks the data type also and the value also. But since data type and value are different, uh, though value are same, but data type is different, so it is giving false. Let's check A equal to equal to D. Both are different. A is 10, B is D is 20. Okay, that's all about the equal equal. Let's do not equal to sign. When I say A not equal to B, it is true because A is 10, B is 20. What happen if I say A not equal to D? That is also true because A is 10, D is 20, though it is string format. But if we want to check the data type also, then we will use double exclamation two times equal. That is A not equal to equal to B. Since A is 10, B is 20, uh, so they are not equal to each other, so I am getting true. A is 10 numeric, B is 20 numeric, they are not equal to, it is true. When I say A not equal to equal to D, that is also coming true because A is 10 and D is string. Though it is 20, then it is coming true. How about A not equal to equal to C? That is also true. 
since both are 10 now, but data type is different, therefore it is coming true. So always remember, equal to equal to sign checks the two values and it will give true even if both are of different data types but same value but what happened with the 3 equal to sign it checks the value and the data type so if both are integer then only it will work both are string then only it will work if one is string one is number then this will not work but this will work similarly for not equal to equal to equal to check not equal to exclamation equal to checks if both values are not equal but not equal to uh, exclamation equal to equal to checks if both values are not equal but with similar data type so here data type should be similar and it only checks whether the value is equal or not greater than is simple you know whether it's someone is greater than or not so if I put whether A is greater than B, it's false because A is 10, B is 20. If I say A less than B, it is saying true. How about if I say A less than D, it is giving true. Here it does not concern about data type. It converts both into number, so it's working with D also. If I say A less than, okay, less than is done, greater than is done. If I say A greater than equal to B, it will come false because it's not greater or equal. If I say A less than equal to B, and it is true because A is less than true, it takes equal also in this case. So that's all about all the uh, comparison operators. Any questions on comparison operators? These are the very simple, simple topics you might have done lot of time in your lifetime so we are doing simple stuff also there are some complex stuff in JavaScript which we will do in future classes and few days I will take simple things and few days I will take some complex things okay now third type of operators it's called the logical operators okay so logical operators works like this so what are the logical operators one is and and this is called logical and second is two pipeline this is called logical or yeah two pipeline and third one is exclamation that is called logical not So, so here if both, if we, here two operators are there, one will come before this and one will come after this. So here what we check, if both operators, uh, both operands, it's called operands, are, are false or non-zero maybe you can say both are both are true so before this is also true after this is also true or we can say non-zero in numeric it is non-zero and in non-numeric it should be boolean true then condition becomes true so for example if I say true and true both are true then the final result will become true but if one of them is false and another one is true then the condition will become false so this is what and means means both the conditions should be true then only the overall result is false 
So let's say 1 and 1. Both are 1. So the result will become true. When I say 1 and 0, the result will become false. Okay, so this is how we check the logical end. In R, either of these two, either of these should be 1, then the result will become true. So for example, if I say 1 or 0, since either of them is 1, so the result will become true. When I say 1, uh, 0 or 0, both are 0, then it will become false because either of them should be 1. And what about this uh, exclamation? So it reverses the logical state of its operand. We'll see some examples so it will become more clear. So just now uh, I'm just telling you the theory and then let's do some practical so you understand. So if something is true and if I put exclamation it will become false. So if the condition is true then logical not operator will make it false. Okay, so we'll we'll see some examples. So if for example for example I'll say var a equal to true. Then if I say not a it will become false. That is not true. Not true it will become false. Okay, something like this. And then let's see some examples, real examples on this one. One second. Okay, let's start with first var a equal to, initially I give 1 as true and I give b equal to false. So this is the example. Now what will happen if I say a, n and b, what will happen? B, false. Why false? Because and means both should be true. So if it, since one of them is false, so the overall result will be false. Okay, what will happen if I say A or B? Since or means, yeah, I will ask questions also. Right now I'm explaining, then I will do some exercise, then I'll ask question. What will happen A or B means either of them should be true and since A is true, Therefore, or gives the true result. Now, we know that A and B is false. And if I use not on this, then it should become true. So if I put A and B, result is false. But if I start with the not sign, and I do this one, so it is coming true. Because inside is false, when I add not, it will become true. Similarly, if I A or B, this is true. Now if I add not before this, it will become false. So not will convert true into false and false into true. Okay, so this is something we do comparison operator. Oh, it is logical operators. We check logically they are true or false. Okay, now let's take more example on this one. So if I say var a equal to 1 and say var b equal to 2, var c equal to 0. Okay, so let's have 3, 1. What will happen now? Okay, so now I want answer from you. So if I say A and and C, what will be the answer? 
ट्रू और फॉल्स फॉल्स लेट्स सी इट इज जीरो एक्चुअली इन जीरो जनरली मीन्स फॉल्स बिकॉज वेन वी कंपेयर दिस वी पुट इट इन द इफ कंडीशन एंड इफ ऑफ जीरो इज फॉल्स okay now what will happen if i put a and then b so uh before giving answer i will just show you the output so if i put a and b this is generally give me 2 and there is a special purpose of this why it is giving me 2 uh this something i have to teach you in another class what happen if i put a and then b okay so let's let's not work on the some value kind of thing let's work on the true and false now because we have to learn why a m percent m percent b gives the value of b okay that that is something a different topic which i don't want to discuss now okay so let's for example let's work on true and false only so let's make it a true or b equal to true and or c equal to false let's work on true and false regarding the value i will be i will be telling you soon uh, there is some another concept in javascript where we pass a and b and if a is true then b will it will take the value of b so that happens in javascript okay so we'll do this uh, tomorrow maybe i don't want to mix two things today so let's work on this tomorrow okay let's work on this true and false today only so if i say a i will not write on here i will write on here otherwise you will see the value okay a and and b okay what it will come true right because both are true what will happen when i say a and then c false because one of them is false one of them is true ampersand means both should be true what will happen if i say a or c true right what will happen if i say not c true because it is false not c means true okay so this is pretty much clear and uh, uh so this is called the logical operators in uh, javascript okay and regarding this part we will do tomorrow not today now i will uh let's do some one more thing in 5 minutes something i don't think what should i do in five minutes okay so there is one more operator which is pending okay that that is something we start today but we will finish it tomorrow okay so we did arithmetic operators we did comparison operators and we did uh we did uh, logical operators next operator which is is the called as called as binary operators so let's do some basics of the binary operations today and then we will work tomorrow more on it okay so binary is kind of one and zero so it consists of only two numbers zero and one so before we do some operations real operations i want to know what are the binary operators so if i type zero in the decimal one in the decimal so this is called a decimal and we will convert this into the binary numbers 
this is the decimal number and we'll convert it into binary number okay till till 7 we'll go today so tell me so we are doing binary operators tell me what is the binary number of 0 if I put decimal 0 what is the binary number for it 0 Ali is saying 0 any other answer okay so it is 0 so let's let me make it uh, 4 0 because we will be adding this one or 5 0 is fine it goes to many more 0 if in front of it but we can consider this 5 0 for it what will the binary number of 1 0 0 0 1 1 you can say 1 also it's fine I just keep kept 0 for my reference you can say 1 also it's okay okay it doesn't matter you say 4 0 or 3 0 it doesn't matter okay so I will say 0 0 0 1 what is the binary number of 2 okay now my question is does anyone don't know how this number increases is there anyone who don't know how this number increases okay so Anand you don't know right okay okay so what happened since I will explain how the binary numbers uh, binary numbers are increasing because this is something basic but many people forget or they might have not given much attention while uh, doing this in the college so I will just go through in short so generally if I go decimal let's say if I go decimal so one by one we add here we one by one we add here and after 7 I go 8 after 8 I go 9 after 9 I go 10 okay after 9 so this is the whole series till 9 but when I want to go one more number so one number when I go so it goes uh, you know it it jumps because it cannot go there is no more than 9 number so it goes it takes the 0 from the top again and add one number before it okay so let's go again one 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 two one three and it goes the complete series and with the one in the beginning okay so this is how it happens in decimal then we'll go in the binary also let's understand what happened in the decimal which we everyone knows so after 19 see after 19 we don't have any number more than 9 so what will happen it will start with 0 it will start with 0 and 1 it will add 10 to it it will start with 0 and then so it will start with 0 but since 1 was there now it will start with 2 since 1 we completed the 1 then it start with the 2 and similarly after 29 it again since 2 is done so it will it will add one more so it will start with 3 but it will remain all the remaining numbers like this it goes in the decimal but with the binary since we have the only two number now what happened when we go to 2 it it add, it add one one more number here so so if we are doing calculation it will add one more number and 1 plus 1 generally is 2 but here it goes to the 10 number because we have only two numbers so after two numbers we have to repeat the whole set of 0 and 1 so if I add one more number so what will happen 1 plus 1 is what generally in decimal it is 2 but since it is a binary 1 plus 1 is goes to the 10 number okay so since it is 10 number so I will put So uh, after 1, I am writing for 2. 
So for two, what happened? I have to add one more number from the previous one because every time we have to increment one number. But one plus one goes to two, and there is no two number in binary. In binary, there is no two number. So what we are doing? We have to add, we have to make it ten. Ten means we add one plus one. It goes to zero either one here because it's a ten. We have to add ten. Next number is ten. If I add one plus one, it is two. But two doesn't exist in binary. So we, what we have to do? We have to go with the ten. So this ten comes. So one plus one zero here, and one will carry up. One will carry up. Then it will go here as one. So what will be the two value? It will be. I will say zero 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 and ten. Okay, and then. So this is the two number equivalent to the two is the ten. Now if I want to put three, I will add one more here. To this I will add one more because every time there should be increment of one. I will add one. So what will happen? Zero plus one. Answer is one, and this one one will go down like as it is, and we will put this three zero before it. Okay, so this happened to be three number. Now let's go to the four number. Four number means we are taking this number and we are adding one number to it. So one plus one two two doesn't exist in binary, so it will go ten. Ten means I will write down zero here and one will carry up. One will carry up here. And one plus one again becomes two, and two doesn't exist in the binary. So one plus one will become ten again. So I have to put zero here, and one will carry up. Okay, so one is carrying up here. So and then in the last one is one plus zero is coming one. Okay, so what is the ultimate answer? One zero zero. Okay, let's do in this one is little difficult to explain. Let's let's do again in the fireworks, so it may become clear. Okay, so let's start with the zero number. Let's start with zero number. Zero number is zero zero zero. I am using only three zeros now. Is zero. Last one is zero. Okay. Now we have to increment one number. This is zero. Decimal is zero. Now we have to increment one number to this one. So to increment one number, I will add one here. No big deal. So just I put one here, kind of thing. Now I have to put a two. So for two, I will take this number that is zero, 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 and one, and I will add one to it. Since I want to add one here. So one plus one generally is two in decimal, but in in uh, bit number there is no two number. So we have to convert into ten. Ten means one one. Here comes zero, and one will carry up, and one plus zero will become one. So two will become zero zero one zero. Let's go to the three number. Let's delete this one. So we know two number is zero zero one zero. Now we are, want to put three number. Three number means we have to add one to this number. So I will add one num this to number. Then I will come zero and one. I will get one, and one will go down. So zero zero. So three number is what zero zero one one. Let's make it four number now. So four number means we have to add one to this. Now I will do one plus one. Is two generally, but in decimal it will become in binary it will become ten. In decimal it will become two. But we are dealing with binary, so one plus one whenever it reaches the extreme limit, it needs to start with a ten. So one plus one is ten. That is zero. I will put here one. I will put up, and then one plus one again. Since one plus one is ten, I will say zero one zero here one will carry up, and one plus zero is one hundred. So for four, it is hundred. Okay, let's go to the five number. 
So we have the 4 here as 0, 1, 0, 0. Now we have to go with the 5 number. 5 number means we will add 1 number to this. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 will go down as it is and 1 will go as it is. So what is the 5? 0, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, let's go to the 6 number. 6 number I will add 1. What will be the 1 plus 1? It is 10. That is 0 will here and 1 will carry up. Then 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1 will carry down. So it is 1, 1, 0 is the 6 number in binary. So let's do now. So 6 number is 1, 1, 0. Let's make it 7 number. I have to add 1 here. 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 will go down and 1 will go down and it is 0. So 7 is 1, 1, 1. Okay, now let's go to the 8 number. And 7 we know is 0, 1, 1, 1. We will add 1 here. Okay, so what will be 1 plus 1? In binary, what will be 1 plus 1? One plus one is ten. So I'll put zero either one here. Then again there is one one. What is one plus one? It is ten. So I'll put zero here. I will carry up one. Again there is one plus one. I will put zero here, one here. And one plus zero, it's one thousand. So we have eight as one thousand. Okay, so now now tell me again. Let's make it 9. How will, how will we make 9 number? We know 8 is 1000. So what will be the 9 number? I want the answer. Okay, 1001. Zero, zero, one. Correct. Okay, let's make it 10 number. What will be the answer? One zero one zero. Right. Whoever will answer first, I will write the answer here. 1010. Zero, one, zero. Let's, let's make it 11 number. Okay. What happened? It's not deleting. 1010. Zero, one, zero. Okay, so 10 number is 1010. Zero, one, zero. What will be the 11 number? 1011, one, one, right. What will be the 12 number? 1100, zero, zero. right. Is it clear how we increment in binary? Okay, now this is the binary number. Let's do, let's do two more. Okay, we did binary. Now let's do the octa number, octa. Octa is eight. So how eight works? It starts with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since octa is eight, so we have total 10 digits. After 7, it should go to the 8, but there is no 8. Already we covered all the 8 numbers. So what will happen after 7? It will start with 10. It will start with 1, 0. Then it will be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. After 17, 8 is not there. 18 is not there. So it will start with 2, 0, then 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Like this, octa number will go. It goes till 7 only. And then again, it start with the 1, 0. Okay, let me show you one figure, one second. I have one URL. 
let's go to that URL to understand. Okay, so so do you see decimal start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20. In the octal, it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then it starts with 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Then it starts with 20, 21, 22 because there is no 8 number. We, we are reaching only up to 7 number and then it starts from 0 again. So this is called the octal. Now let's go to the hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is the 16 digit number. So we start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After 9, it starts with A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, so th this is something 10 number and there is a 6 number, total 16 number. After F, it will start again with 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Then 1A, one 1B, one 1 C, 1D, one 1E, one 1F. One After 1F, one it will start with 20. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. After 29, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E, 2F. After 2F, it starts with the 30. 30, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, 7, 3, 8, 3, 9. Then 3A, 3B, 3C, 3D, 3E, 3F. After 3F, it starts with 40. Like this it goes. And in the binary, we saw how the conversion goes. One by one, how it adds. So this is how the mathematics uh, work in this conversion of decimal to octal or hexadecimal or binary. So there are couple of operations in this decimal, octal, hexadecimal, binary in JavaScript which we will see tomorrow, not today. So for today, just practice this, how we num increase the numbering in decimal, octal, hexadecimal, in binary. In decimal we have studied since childhood, so no need to worry about this, but for octal, hexadecimal, binary, you should you should practice a little bit and try to go mentally from 0 to 100 in case of octal and hexadecimal. In case of binary, you can go in notebook 0 to 100 by adding one by one. But if you don't get time, just do few, few, three, four, at least you should know how it works. So tomorrow I'll ask you how octal goes, hexadecimal goes and binary goes one by one and then we will do some operations in JavaScript related to this decimal, octal, hexadecimal and binary. So that's all for today. Any questions you can ask.